going to correct this image, which has some very complex gradients because it was taken from an area with a lot of light pollution. We select a different quantum efficiency curve and calibrate the flux. We're going to work with two previews. In the first preview, we're going to execute MGC with the default settings. First, we disable the Show Gradient Model option so that we can see the corrected image in the preview. In this image, when we use a 1024 pixel gradient scale, some residual gradients remain. The gradient scale is the most important setting in MGC. In images with very complex gradients, we may need to work at very small scales. But if we have images with very simple gradients, we can increase the gradient scale to one that corrects the gradients effectively. The gradient correction with MGC is based on observational data, so too small a scale may generate large-scale noise in the image which comes from the reference image. In this case, we're going to try modeling the gradients using a scale of 384 pixels. As you can see, this is a much more effective correction than with 1024 pixels. It's particularly noticeable in the two left corners and the right side. We can use MGC with the Mars U database, which includes selected areas of the sky, including the whole center of the Milky Way. This nebula is between the Scorpius and Ophiuchus constellations, close to Antares, and we're going to correct it with the Mars U database. Using the default settings, we've managed to correct the horizontal gradient that went from green to reddish. We can also use our own wide field image as the reference image in MGC. We're going to correct this image of Barnard 150, which is also in this other image on the right. The image on the left was taken with a focal length of more than 3 meters. Correcting this image with the Mars database probably wouldn't work because the focal length of the Mars survey is 100 times smaller. Instead, we're going to use this other image taken with a focal length of 400 millimeters. If you look closely, you'll see that the wide field image also has gradients. There's a diagonal gradient that gets darker toward the top right. First, we're going to correct this image with the Mars database. This gives us a more uniform field. And now we're going to correct the 3-meter focal length image with the 400-millimeter one, adding the latter as the reference image. As with the Pleiades image, we're going to try two different scales. First, the default settings. And now, as it's quite a complex gradient, we're going to lower the scale to 512. This is with 1024, and this is with 512. With 512, we've corrected the edges of the image more effectively. This was the original image. The advantage of gradient correction methods that gather data from the whole image is that we can model gradients even if they're on top of extended objects. 
We can therefore eliminate this complex vignetting very effectively, just as we were able to eliminate the gradients that changed as they crossed the Pleiades. This means we can do very aggressive gradient corrections even in images with objects that occupy the whole field. In these two images, we have some uncorrected vignetting, and we need to use a much smaller scale than the default one. With a scale of 256 pixels, we can correct the vignetting all the way to the corners. In the case of M31, this scale corrects the darkening of the area of the nucleus in the corner of the image. At the same time, it preserves the delicate outer spiral arms of the galaxy. The Mars DR1 database also includes narrowband H-alpha data that we can use to correct images taken in that band. First, we have to calibrate the flux of the image in narrowband filters mode. It's a monochrome image, so we have to modify the gray filter settings. This is the H-alpha wavelength. We're going to change the bandwidth to 5 nanometers. Now, to correct the gradients, in the gray filter dropdown in MGC, we select H alpha. Let's try it on a preview. We uncheck the Show Gradient Model box and apply the process. As you can see, we've corrected the top left corner, which was too dark, and this area on the right, which was too bright. If we want to be more aggressive in this corner, we can try with a smaller scale. This is the result with a gradient scale of 1024 pixels, and this is with 512. This corner has been completely corrected. However, the dark nebulas have been overcorrected. In the next videos, we'll look at how to change the scale factors manually to solve this type of problem. Easy rider on the highway Station wagon going slow Windows open, you are basking In the bluegrass radio mm -hmm. It is easy now to see you With your hand out on the wind I keep this folded at the corner so that I could not forget it Fold it at the corner So that I could not forget mm. Pink azaleas by your drive